Welcome back to the channel, YouTube World. Another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. As always, check the description. You never know what you're going to find. There could be links to timestamps. And there's spoilers because this is post game. 3, 2, 1. So, here's where he is north of Rhodes. We're zooming in nice and easy. Get your bearings. East of, or I suppose southeast of, or no, east of Maddock Pond. Sorry, southeast, a little bit of the letter D, right above the ear of the animal, is where the first clue is. You're looking for this gold confetti. You walk up to it. Oh, because, let me add this in case it's your first time doing this. When you enter a legendary area, you're going to get one of two things that happens at the top left of the screen. You've entered a legendary area, look for clues. Or, you've entered an area, but there's too much activity going on. That means you'll have to leave right off into the sunset, into that beautiful sun. Look at the graphics. Anyways, right off for about 30 seconds and then come back and see if that refreshes the area, if you will. And then once you enter that area and it tells you that, just kind of run around, hit the double sticks, you'll eventually, you'll eventually find this. But for most part, it is roughly in the same area for everybody. Anyhow. Sorry, let me get into this here. We're playing with shit again as usual. Every legendary hunt usually ends up being the same. You pick a thing, you look on the ground for something that looks like paint, that flashing thing. You're going to follow it, you're going to do this about three or four times. You're going to double tap your sticks again. It's usually always going to be right in front of you. Look for that gold confetti. Now I'm known for always repeating myself and going into too much detail, but I'm sick and tired of all these videos of people that I'm watching that don't always give a lot of detail. Or they just go through things too quickly, and then I'm just I'm left still scratching my head, and then I gotta watch uh, two, three videos just to get what I'm trying to find. This time we're playing with fur. That's to wipe the poo that we just played with a moment ago. These are, as I always say, a one-time deal. Once you kill him, that's it. Oh, but the trapper needs three pieces of armor for me to craft. That's fine. He'll chop it into three pieces. Use any weapon. Doesn't really matter. What you're going to want to do is aim, no matter what the animal is. And because it's a legendary, you can't ruin the pelt. Go into Deadeye, spam that tag button a couple of times, then pull the trigger. You don't want him taking off. Sorry, I thought, he, I thought he moved and ran off for a second. You don't want him taking off, otherwise... Legendary Fox. Otherwise, what ends up happening is uh, he leaves. He won't respawn for a couple of days. You gotta camp, you gotta leave, come back. It's a pain in the ass. Make sure you shoot him. Doesn't really matter where. Obviously, try to go for the vitals if your dead eye is high enough. You'll get the uh, red sections, but for the most part, just shoot them. So far, the only one that's given me problems is the cougar out uh, in the old uh, map, what was considered Red Dead Redemption 1. Even the bear wasn't a big deal. You just aim, like I said, dead eye, and obviously make sure your dead eye meter's full. Anyways, apart from that, can't really think of anything else to say. It's really not much to it. Uh, yeah, so I mean, as usual, if you liked the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, I'm giving you the option. You can give it a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, join the fun, that'd be great. But if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine too. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, and I shall see you all in the next video.